This book has contributed to spanning the professions of medicine, medical research, nursing and martial arts. Although the book is karate-centric, the topics of curriculum design, medically and street fighting statistics mean that there are comparisons and references to practices of MMA, Taekwondo, Karate, Grappling and Martial Arts. The book analyses what happens in street fights based on police and emergency department data so that a Karate practitioner can assess whether they are practising likely or unlikely scenarios based on real facts rather than passed down tradition or hearsay. It then overviews the path by which a technique produces a medical outcome and relates technique to curriculum, tournament fighting and belt tests. The book is divided into three key topic sections. Section A is on the medically relevant outcomes of street fights and emergency department data which is then compared to technique evolution and practicality from Okinawa through to modern day sports martial arts. Section B covers some medically relevant issues related to long term martial arts training, which involves things that are not likely to be related to serious street fighting, but are relevant to training in the dojo or sports martial arts environment. This includes damage from impact or grappling in training, as well as several examples of the way karate ka do techniques which may over time cause back, knee or other joint deterioration via certain punching or stance styles. This is then further related to technique evolution from Okinawa through to the modern sports world. Section C maps an example karate training and belt test curricula to the data to provide an example of covering both real-world injury data while holding to possible tradition or sports considerations. For those aiming to be effective martial arts instructors with regards to teaching how to incapacitate an attacker when one is seriously threatened, it only makes sense to understand the underlying physiology and medicine of what one is teaching to achieve the incapacitating effect and then basing that against what the data says is likely to happen in the street. Discussions around optimal impact points on the head or jaw for knockout effects and the dynamics of head rotation to optimise the likelihood of a knockout is one example of a topic relating technique type and medical detail. If one is going to state that they practice practical martial arts, it should be a system that follows the data of a probability that something will happen and only then does something match the dictionary version of what practical means which is involving or relating to real situations and events that are likely. Doctors practice a system called evidence-based practice, abbreviated to EBP. This is a process of analysing data to decide on a path of action or treatment. Martial artists should also train with an evidence-based practice approach given recent decades has resulted in the collection of extensive data by emergency departments, police assault records and national bureaus that collect statistics. The data used in this book is primarily based on studies from the UK, Australia and the USA. In producing this text, Dr Jason Armstrong has brought together three clinical contributors and three martial artists. Jason himself has fought in a full contact MMA event in Japan and has been studying karate for over 25 years after transferring over from judo prior to that. He has held national karate titles in both fighting and forms, lived in Japan for a number of years and currently holds a 6th degree black belt and shihan title. At the time of writing this text, Jason worked as the CEO of MediServe, a medically focused company which provides clinicians with ongoing training for practice registration. The company is wholly owned subsidiary of the University of Queensland.